So in this segment today, we'll be talking about resetting the Hunter controllers. Here in the wall, we have two Pro-C controllers. Um, this is the older version with the season adjust to the left of the display. And here to the right, we have the newer style face pack where the season adjust is now here on the dial. Now resetting the controller, a, a couple of reasons why you might want to do this is, um, for example, if you've done a lot of programming, you set, put in start times and you've put in run times and you've put in different days to water and you've got your three programs A, B, and C and you're just not quite sure you, you got too much information in there, you can reset the face pack back to factory settings and it will be like it's brand new out of the box with absolutely all the programming wiped out. Another reason for a reset could be due to a power surge and that could create numbers that are illogical or illegible or just unreadable. Here we have the two Hunter Pro C controllers and the procedure is just the same for the Hunter XC the Hunter EC or the Hunter SRC Plus. The only difference is the reset button is in a little bit different location. You'll find those under the lower covers because they don't have a face pack that swings open. So just remove the lower cover and you'll find the reset button down there. We'll be utilizing the minus right arrow and program buttons during the process, all three buttons. And you'll want to locate on the back here the reset button. That's located inside this recessed cylinder. And in the base of that, you'll note a little white button. Now when you touch the button, it's not going to move very far, so you won't feel like you touched anything. It's a little pressure switch. And you'll need either a toothpick or a ballpoint pin, but when you do touch that reset button, you want to make sure the display does go blank, release the button, and the display comes back up. That's telling you that you've used the right size tool and you found the reset button. If during the process the display does not go blank, you're not hitting the button. Okay. Now on the pre-2009 controllers that look like this, you'll hold down the minus right arrow and the program, hold them all three down real hard, touch and release that reset, and your display is going to go blank. When you let go of the buttons, you should see 12 o'clock appear. That tells you that you have done the reset procedure correctly, and you're all set to reprogram it. If you get any other time besides 12, try it again. You didn't quite get it the first time. It may take a couple of times, but you do want to show 12 o'clock here in the display. With the newer style face pack, we're only going to simply use the program button during the same process. So if you open the face pack up, locate the reset button here on the back, and once again test it with your tool to make sure the display does go blank when you touch the reset button, and make sure that your display is flashing. If it does, you know you've got the right size tool. And with this newer style face pack, simply hold down the program button, touch and release the reset, and then release the program button. And you should get 12 o'clock appearing in the display. That's the reset procedure.